Today we will be learning how to build a major scale using tones and semitones. So what is a major scale? Well, let's listen to one. Alright, so now that we've heard one, a major scale is a collection of notes that is built on the interval pattern tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. A major scale starts on one note and ends on that note an octave higher. It involves one note per letter name of the musical alphabet. So let's do an example to see what I mean. Let's draw in our treble clef here. All right, so our D major scale will start on the note D. And like I said, involve one note per letter name. So there's our D. Let's go up to musical alphabet. We need an E, F, G, A, B, C, and back to D. All right, so let's draw in our tone semitone pattern just to clarify what we mean here. The distance between the first two notes should be a tone. Distance between the next two notes should be a tone as well. Between the third and fourth note, we have a semitone. Going forward, we have tone, 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 and ending with a semitone. So now this tone, tone, semitone pattern is what the intervals should be between these notes, not what they currently are. So we have to go through on our keyboard and determine what the notes should be. So a semitone being the closest possible distance between two notes on a piano and a tone being two semitones. All right, so our first between our first two notes, our D and our E, we should have a tone. So let's go up two semitones to our first, second note, which will be an E. So our second note is just a plain E. We check to see what we've got here, just an E. So we're good, we don't have to do anything to that note. Between our next two notes, we also have a tone. So let's go up two more semitones, making our tone to our third note. Our third note will be an F sharp. Now, our third note will not be a G flat, even though it sounds exactly the same. It'll be an F sharp because one note per letter name. We've used our D, we've used our E, now we're on our F. So we've gone up our tone to our F sharp. We check against what we have. Right here we just have a normal plain old F written in. So we have to put in a sharp to make sure that this interval is now a tone. Okay, our next interval should be a semitone. So let's go up one semitone taking us to a G. Check that against what we have. We have a G, so we're good. Let's go up another tone to an A. Check that against our A. Perfect. Another tone between our next two notes, right? Taking us from an A to a B, so we're good. Our next distance should be a tone as well. So we're going from a B to our next note, which will be a C sharp. Right, so not a D flat because it has to be a C something because that's the letter name we're on right now. We've gone up a B to our C sharp. And finally, we have a semitone between the last two notes. Oh, I forgot to write in that sharp. Check that against what we have. So we had to write in a sharp to make sure that's a C sharp. And our semitone from a C sharp to a D taking us back to the note we started on. So this is a good way to check to make sure you've done this interval pattern correctly. If you've used this interval pattern and you did not end up on a D here, uh, then you know that something has gone wrong. So we don't want to end up on an E flat or a D flat, C, E, etc. We want to make sure we end up on the same note we started on. Okay, so let's do another example. Why don't we try a flat key? So let's do E flat major. So this scale will be starting on an E flat and going to an E flat.
right? So if it's an E flat major, it's important to start on the note that is in the key. So why don't we do this one in the bass clef? All right, so one note per letter name. So we start on our E flat. So that's our E. We need one F. G, A, B, C, D, and we need one E, but that E is going to be flat because we're going to start and end on the same note, which is our E flat major. Okay, so let's draw in our interval pattern again. Remembering that this is the interval pattern of which should have be happening, not what is currently between the notes. So we'll have to change these notes to make sure that our interval pattern is correct. So tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone, tone. Oh, computer's just thinking, semitone. Okay, so E flat going up a tone. So let's go up our tone from an E flat, taking us to an F. So that's an F, that's great, we don't have to do anything. Uh, our next interval is a tone again, going up from an F to a G. Check that against our G. Our next one should be a semitone. Going up from a G, one semitone takes us to our A flat. We've already used up our G letter name, so we're on A now. So this is an A flat. We check that against our fourth note here. Well, we need to add in a flat to make that a semitone. Okay, so we need to go up a tone from an A flat. That'll take us to a B flat. We need to write that flat in to make sure that's our tone. Up a tone again here to our next note. Which takes us to a C. And that's good. We just have a C there, so we don't have to change that. Uh, going up a tone again, right? to our second last note, which is a D. So we don't have to do anything to that. And finally, we go up a semitone from a D back to an E flat, the very note we started on. So there is our E flat major skill built using tones and semitones.